Welcome everyone. My name is Lazar. I'm a Paris-based photographer and content creator. So if you're new here, I do photography sessions, mostly street photography, but not only. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So today we're heading to uh, uh, Rue Saint Anne. It's a Korean uh, neighborhood. Mm, not really Korean, but uh, a lot of uh, there is a strong community, uh, a lot of restaurants, and uh, but it's not only uh, Korean. And we're going uh, there, not far from uh, the Opera over there. So I'm going to be shooting with my Fuji X-T3 and 35 f2. I'm going to set it to uh, the lights. The light is going down, so yeah, I'm going to go for 2.8 at uh, 1600 ISO and 125th of a second for the speed. Uh, I had it uh, almost right. I'm a bit overexposed. Yeah, 250. I was a uh, one stop uh, uh, overexposed. My guess was not exactly uh, perfect. So let's warm up. Oops, uh, I forgot I was in continuous high. I usually put my uh, camera on continuous low because um, if I press once, I just take one picture, and I, if keep my if I keep my finger on the shutter, it takes uh, several ones, which uh, doesn't happen with the continuous high. It's so sensitive that if you even touch it, it goes like bam 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 bam. bam. I think I set it like like uh, eight frames a second, which is way too much. It's uh, really a pain to uh, to edit uh, those files later. There are too many of them. All right, so so I like this neighborhood because uh, there's a street life, and that's something that I enjoy very much. Uh, not all neighborhoods in Paris are like that. Usually, if there are people walking in the middle of the street, that, that's a good sign that uh, there's a street life in this neighborhood. There should be some kids also, because... Uh, what time is it now? Almost five, so yeah, it's 4.45, so school's over. Love this neighborhood. Pardon. Oh, too bad, I missed uh, the moment uh, the mother put uh, her kid on her shoulders. All right, that's a classic. Let's shoot some uh, few shots. The camera is focusing on the the steam uh, of the or the 
I would say the the dirt, but it's not dirt. Say grease, maybe. Lights burn it. Let me forget this. Okay, so soon it will be uh, dusk and the light is gonna be pretty interesting. No? Okay, let's try some reflections. Some people are coming. I'm gonna pre focus the area and all right, gonna do it again. Uh, nobody's coming. Shoot. Okay, I'll keep the light in the frame, it's red. Come on, somebody crossed the street. Thank you, you're too far away. Okay, someone's coming, pre-focus on the ground. Yeah, it's okay, not great. So sometimes when uh, there are a lot of people in the street, it can be overwhelming and uh, you don't know where to look at and uh, at least uh, this is what I feel. Okay, the guy over there in red, smoking. I can use the... Um, the color for the separation. I'm a bit far. So it's getting darker and soon uh, just before the light, uh, the city lights turn on, the, um, the overall mood will be very interesting. Okay, let's go this way. It will be more quiet. Yeah, well, I was thinking about shooting them, but uh, I didn't feel uh, the vibe. I don't know who said that uh, you don't take a picture, it's uh, the picture that takes you. And uh, I totally agree with it because uh, sometimes you feel like you're drawn to, to a picture. And uh, sometimes you just don't feel like it. It's uh, something tells you just uh, don't take the picture. Okay, let me show you what I'm seeing. Yeah. So we're gonna go through Passage uh, Choiseul. This passage is not very well known.
not as uh, as much as uh, the other passage. Uh, um, uh, which one? Passage Vivienne and uh, Jouffroy and Verdier that are very touristic. Uh, I love it when people are dressed uh, in high colors, in vivid colors. Especially when it's cold and gray like this, uh, like today. All right, so, Passage Choiseul. So this passage is okay, uh, but uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not really inspired. Sometimes uh, there are people eating here at the, just uh, by the window. But today, nobody. Well, it's five, oh. so people don't eat at five here. All right, let's go back to where we were. This is uh, the thing that is uh, interesting with the street photography. It 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 uh, forces you to to be aware of what is happening just in front of you. The people, the colors, the the light. Oh. It's uh, some kind of mindfulness. I love that. The father with the, the backpack of her daughter, of his daughter, sorry. This is cute. Yeah, we're gonna go around this uh, neighborhood. I got a song in my head. It's uh, the weekend. Uh, I think it's feel it coming. And uh, I just can't uh, get it out of my head. So I don't know if uh, when you shoot street photography, if you have like a particular uh, song in mind or music. All right. See this lady with her, with her, uh, no. So now we're going south. Straight ahead is uh, the Louvre. Like. Uh, 200 meters from here but we are not going there I 
I much prefer to take the small streets. Uh, less busy areas. Um, I think it's much easier to compose and um, the quiet mood of the uh, of the area just uh, helps me uh, focus more. Uh, nothing happening here. It's very dull. But we must be aware because it can happen anytime. shoot this bike. I like the colors. Not uh, not so much the graffiti. So I'll try to just uh, shoot what I want. The background is so busy, you know, it's, uh, there are a lot of things uh, going on and sometimes you just, uh, you can't have like a different layers uh, in your picture because uh, if your subject um, is uh, flooded by a busy background, uh, you, you, you can't see anything. Uh, subject separation is, uh, I think, is uh, kind of hard to achieve uh, sometimes, so it's like you can, for example, if you're saying something or telling a story, it can be the best story of the world, but if you uh, tell it in a, a very noisy uh, bar, nobody can uh, listen to you and nobody can just uh, get engaged in, in, in your story. So um, that's uh, the best comparison uh, that I can uh, think of.